Hey guys, this is going to be just real quick. I'm going to run through this really fast. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to make a video. Um, as soon as I do this, the air kicks on. I'm telling you, something is trying to block my voice. I feel for you, Holly. I understand. Um, it's happening constantly now. Um, let me just kind of walk away from this. So, guys, I had a dream a long time ago. I went over it and I had a video. I took it down because, you know, I was new in Christ and um, I believe that there's a different interpretation for this. And now um, I'm trying to work on it. But this is something that's kind of stumped me and I don't know why. And I think that I was supposed to ask for help on this dream. Um, and I know that recently, Rapture Time Awareness, I'm not sure what their hourly watch I think now. Um, if you guys are watching this, I know that this connects somehow. This is not even the video I'm talking about. I'll make a new one for you guys too. I just haven't had a moment to do that yet um, to gather all of that up. But this is just one little thing that would be a piece if I could understand it a little better. In this dream, I'm looking out at this ocean and I know I'm at a condo on the beach. I live about an hour away from Destin and Pensacola and so um, it's not odd for me to be there you know I been, um, probably go every summer and so it's not odd for me to be there but I'm looking out at the ocean and I'm with another girl and her name is Brooke and um, I went to school with her but I know um, the names are important and so her name is Brooke we're looking at the water and it's just rough seas out there and the waves are crashing in, and it looks, it just looks rough, like, I don't know the flags, but it'd be like the top one. You can't, you definitely couldn't get in the water, or even probably walk up and put your feet in the water, because it'd probably suck you in. Um, and then I go inside, and my son, he's running around, and he's young in this dream, which is crazy, because now I have a young, a one-year-old, and um, so... It was clearly him running around, actually. They look like twins. And that's the thing, is they look exactly like twins. And the Lord told me they're twins. Well, the Lord didn't tell me they were twins until, like, two weeks ago. Two or three weeks ago. Well, his name is Thomas. He named, The Lord told me to name him Thomas because he told me I was having twins the whole time I was pregnant. And this is when I kind of disappeared from making any videos at all or making anything. And there was a lot going on at that time, um, especially with the Lord prophesying and giving me all this information about um, about my son's birth. Okay, I knew all these things before I even got pregnant, and then it just happened. And we weren't even trying; it was just a, fr a freak thing. Um, so I know that it's important that he's there. Okay, so the kid's name's Thomas, right? My son. It's not Hollister like I thought. Then I'm talking to my husband, and then there's another man there. He has a plaid shirt on. The plaid shirt is important. He's talking to me, and I know that his name, shoot, Roger. His name was Roger. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I never would have remembered that if that wasn't for the Holy Spirit. That's crazy. <laughs> um, his name is Roger, and he says he's got um, his twin brother, and he's going to come over. But this guy is just so cool and he's so famous that he invented this alcohol. And he's going to come over and we're like, oh, let's go out and buy one of these alcohols. And uh, just, just kind of show him, like, you, you know, make him feel comfortable and give us something to talk about. So we go out and we buy this Jägermeister, which is nuts because my husband does not drink. I might have a glass of wine maybe every two, three years. I don't drink at all. It's just not my thing. And, um... And so it's, it's weird that we bought the, went out and bought the alcohol. So we went out and bought the alcohol, and I looked at it. I specifically saw the bottle, and I was, like, studying the bottle. But I didn't see Jägermeister or any of that. All I saw was this deer and the cross above the antlers. And I knew it was super important. And as I look up from studying the bottle, the man's there, sitting there next to his twin brother. And he has a plaid shirt on, but it's a different type of plaid, okay? And so, I don't know if it's like, 
the Jews and the Gentiles were grafted in, were becoming one. I, I, I'm just, I'm not sure if it's the two dispensations of time. I really don't know. I, I'm just, for some reason, at such a loss for this. And normally, I get quite a pretty good interpretation um, on my dreams rather quickly. And so for me not to have this, I know someone out there has the other link. And I need, and, ugh, sorry, a buck. And I, and I need the other link. <laughs> and I bet you this is going to be cool. I'm excited because I, I can already like tell the Lord's been working ahead of me to like, to give um, confirmation in someone else's life. Um, I love seeing when the Lord does that. He's so good, and he's, he's <laughs> it's just amazing to see the glory of the Lord. And, um, guys, I these dreams are not of me. These are all of Him, and I just thank the Lord that He gives them to me. I'm so, I feel so grateful and so humbled and so lucky to receive these um, that I cherish them, honestly. Uh, I covet it. <laughs> I, I covet the Lord so much, guys. But um, let me get back to the story. So I remember we're talking there, and I'm studying their shirts now. After stu- like I di- I was like zoomed in to each point of this dream that I've been talking about. Like I zoomed in, and like it was on there forever. I swear. I mean, it's like I was. I'm sorry for saying. That, I swear. It was like. I was uh, just made to study it for a while, you know, so the plaid's important. And now, a while back, I saw um, a video by this girl named Diana, and she did a really good thing, a cool thing about um, plaid and the Lord giving her the word kilts or kiltines or something like that, and connecting it to... Christ's bloodline and how they went over to Scotland and how you can watch the bloodline move around which is crazy okay now I'm not really sure all about this I don't know how all the information but but I knew at the time it connected to my dream but I can't find her videos and I don't remember her name it is Diana something I think so if any of you guys know what I'm talking about please please let me know her name I, I I can't figure it out. I don't think I'm supposed to. I'm just, I'm not really sure. I'm just following the Lord's leading on this. I know that it's important for the time frame. Today, I was called out. Okay, that was the end of the dream. But today, it's my son's birthday, Thomas, okay? And 311, okay, has been brought up, brought up, brought up. Everyone, 311, 311, God's gift, man to Christian, 311. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all watch everyone's videos. Well, today, the Lord, like, out of nowhere, I was staying home all day. I live out in the country. It takes forever if I have to get my kids in the car and drive to town. So, I was, like, really needing this day to be home to catch up on stuff. Um, but it's, like, every day, five hours is taken from me. And minus five hours is a really hard day <laughs> for a stay-at-home mom, you know? But, um... Every time around like one or two, I get interrupted and have to leave the house. So today I got interrupted and my husband needed me to go to the post office and mail out this invitation for um, for our stepdaughter. And so I went to go do that. I didn't know where the post office was. I drove to actually the police station thinking it was the post office because, you know, I'm new to this town and it's it's not very big. It's not big at all. And then I come to find, oh, there's just so much to this, guys. So I go search on Google, what's the address to the post office, right? 311 John Street. I'm not joking. And you know what street it's on the corner of? Adam and Church. (laughs) And I live on the corner of Church and Griffith. Church and Lord, right? So... (laughs) I'm telling you, almost every step I take now is like falling in line with the way the Lord would line things up in Scripture. It is just, it is wild, okay? So there's there's a lot going on, guys. We all need to slow down and try and pay attention. Even I, like, am running from time and, like, needing time because it, I'm just, we're getting so much stuff. 
and I know now, like, it's just connecting to everyone's stuff I listen to. Anyone's video I watch, it just happens to connect to something of theirs, and and it never used to do that, guys, and the Lord was telling me he was going to connect the body, the body's getting connected, and we are. We are, and soon it's going to be a physical connection, and I know it's soon. The Lord keeps telling me, your double portion is coming, and my son's name is Tim, or Tim, sorry, that's my dad's name, um, which means, who is like God, um, even my family's names is crazy down the list, like super interesting, um, it all has to do with like Revelation 14, it's super weird, but, um, but guys, there's something going on with the 311, I know that's important, um, Oh, God's Gifts. I think it was God's Gifts that made this video. If it's not, it might be Amanda Christian. Um, on your, like, grass video, and you're listening to the music and you hear the birds. I don't know if you happen to listen to this video. Um, and I didn't get a second to comment. I need to go do that. But the sound, the other sound that you're hearing with those birds, and I know you guys are all listening to the same videos. It's the sound of locusts. And they use it in like so many movies, so many monster movies. They use it in, in tons of stuff. It's so creepy. And they always use the same sound bite. And it's those locusts crawling like all like, like if you took a box of locusts and then you just put like a microphone in there, it's what they sound like. It's just absolutely horrifying and sickening to think about. But yeah, there's, there's a lot to that music. Look into that girl. You got that. Um. I wanted to look into that stuff so bad. It looked so interesting, but I just, like, don't have time. And so, um, I mean, that's why I'm even putting the, these things out. Whatever the Lord told me to put out, I'm just getting it out to you. So, please, if anyone knows anything about this deer, anything about, okay, side note. I go to look up the reason for the logo for Jägermeister. And I guess back in the day, there was, um, like, a saint. That had had a vision at the same time as another guy that was like a hunter. And they had a vision of this, of this deer right here with the antlers and a cross in the middle of it. And that's what they had a vision of, right? And then he became like the saint, patron saint in Catholicism. And so I know there's definitely a connection to God. God, God meant, th this was meant for something, guys. I know it is. I've, I've always been like, what's the Jägermeister connection? Um, but I can't, I haven't got very far with it. I don't know, I don't know why. I know that, I think there's a lot to this one. Like this is, it had so much profound, uh, like it was very simple in the dream. But the profound symbolism in it um, just wowed me. And, um, and it's at more of another level than I think I um, am used to. So, uh, if you know anything about this, please let me know. And I love you guys so much. Um, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.